Hello Junk Wax Investor Community. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 Junk Wax era basketball cards that sold on eBay in the last week. In addition to this awesome list, as always, I've included some bonus listings at the end as well. Definitely a great mix of cards. You don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. All right, let's not waste any more time and get into the good stuff. All right, starting us off in the 10th spot this week from 1995 Top Stadium Club. We have the Michael Jordan Warp Speed Insert, graded mint PSA 9. This car sold at auction for $573.30. In a mint slab, it's a pop of 168, and there's only 47 higher graded gem mint 10s. So the Warp Speed Inserts are in both Series 1 and Series 2. The first six cards, including this Jordan, is in Series 1. And they were inserted one in 36 hobby and retail packs. Those Series 1 boxes of 95 Stadium Clubs sell for around $150 to $230. In the number 9 spot from 1994 Collector's Choice, we have the Michael Jordan card number 402 Gold Signature Parallel, graded to mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $783.46. It's a pop of 67 in a mint slab, and there's only 29 higher graded gem mint 10s. This exact card sold for $129 in December of 2019. So pretty good price appreciation there for a mint copy. The gold signature parallels were inserted one in 36 packs, so they were a box hit parallel. And boxes of 1994 Collector's Choice Series 2 sell for around $80 to $130. If you'd like to pick up one of those boxes and chase those gold signature parallels, there's links in the description below for all the boxes in our top 10. Those are eBay affiliate links that take you directly to eBay search results for all of those featured boxes. In the number 8 spot from 1995 tops, we have a Michael Jordan card number 277 Power Boosters Parallel graded gem in BGS 9.5. That was a fixed price sale for $800. It's a pop of 79 in a gem mint BGS slab and there's none graded higher. Subgrades were 9.5 for centering corners and edges and a 9 for surface. Over at PSA, it's a gem mint pop of only 47 and they typically sell for around 1700 bucks or so. So cards 276 to 290 in series 2, those 15 cards, those are the only ones that had a power boosters parallel. And they were inserted one in 36 packs. So boxes of 95 tops series two sell for around $250 to $350. From 1990 Fleer, we have Michael Jordan's base card graded a pristine BGS 10. This pristine copy sold at auction for $981. It's a pop of only 37 in a pristine slab, and there's actually one higher graded perfect black label. Subgrades were 10 for centering, corner surface, and a 9.5 for edges. Boxes of 1990 Fleer sell for around $75 to $95. In the number six spot from 1993 Fleer, we have a Michael Jordan All Stars insert graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $1,104.12. It's a low pop of only 58 in a gem mint slab. These all-stars inserts were inserted into series one packs at a rate of one in 10 packs. And boxes of 1993 Fleer series one sell for around 80 to $110. In the number five spot from 1995 Hoops, we have the Michael Jordan Skyview insert graded gem in BGS 9.5. This was a fixed price sale for $1,700. Pop of this card in a gem in BGS slab is 94 and there's none graded higher. Subgrades were 10 for surface, 9.5 for centering corners and edges. So it's nice having that 10 subgrade there. That probably helped the value a bit. Gem mint PSA 10s, they're a pop of only 48 and one sold for around $1,650 in August and $2,200 way back last December. So the Skyview inserts were inserted into Series 2 packs at a rate of 1 in 480 packs. That is a tough pull. There's pretty low pop and gem and slap, especially if you consider PSA 10, pop of under 50 and 1 in 480 packs. Wow. If you feel like gambling, want to try your luck? With those odds, boxes of 1995 Hoops Series 2 sell for around $250 to $400.
In the number four spot from 1992 Upper Deck, we have Shaquille O'Neal's rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $1,859.93. It's a pop of only 336 in a gem mint slab. And this can be found in high series boxes of 92 Upper Deck. And those have recently sold for around $180 to $240. All right, time to see what we have in the top three. But before we do, just a quick reminder, if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description below. Use the code JUNKWAX10 to save 10% on your order. In the number three spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra, we have the Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert, graded mint PSA 9. This card sold at auction for $2,025. This is where I think there's still some dislocation in some of the prices especially in basketball like you got a 93 ultra scoring kings mint nine for over two thousand dollars it's a pop of 266 and there are 97 higher graded gem mint tens and then when you look at something like that sky view insert that was insert one in 480 packs and low pops of under 50 for the gem mint psa ones and those sell for around 1700 bucks so cheaper than a mint nine scoring kings anyway the scoring kings are inserted into series one boxes at a rate of one in 36 packs so they're box hits and boxes of 93 ultra series one sell for around 400 to 500 bucks and the number two spot from 1995 metal we have a michael jordan scoring magnets graded gem mint psa 10 this insert sold at auction for $2,850. It's a pop of only 33 in a gem mint slab. And the scoring magnets inserts were inserted into Series 2 hobby packs at a rate of 1 in 54 packs. And boxes of 1995 Metal Series 2 sell for around $305 to $400. Bucks. And top on the list this week in the number one spot from 1994 Tops Finest. We have a Michael Jordan refractor with coating, no greening on it, it's said in the listing, which is important for eye appeal, the graded gem in PSA 10, that was a fixed price sale for $7,000. It's a pop of 147 in a gem mint slab, refractors are inserted 1 in 12 packs, and Jordan is in Series 2, and boxes of 94 finest Series 2 sell for around $450 to $600. All right, that's it for the top 10. We have nine Jordan cards and one Shaq. Well, let me know in the comments below of those 10, which one would you take? Which one would be a PC edition? Time to take a look at our Junk Wax Investor Basketball Index. So basketball is continuing its upward trend. We're at 78.8. And of note here, we have passed the S&P and 500, NASDAQ, and well, we're always been above Bitcoin for quite a while. But being above the S&P 500, that's, uh, that's only happened once or twice in the last year or so. So the trend is looking good. Basketball Index is made up of 50 cards, ranging from 1989 Fleer all the way up to 1996 Tops. Pretty awesome list there. Lots of Hall of Famers, lots of rookie cards. The weekly summary, we had 19 cards that had an increase in price, 16 with no change, and 15 that had a decrease in sales price. See how basketball is stacking up to the other three major sports. Football has lost its top spot. Baseball is in the top spot now, followed by football and hockey all really close together. And basketball is increasing. Everything's kind of converging around that 80 to 85 mark. So I track all my collections and indexes, the values and stuff using the Market Movers program. It's got a lot of awesome hobby features. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. They have three different pricing tiers. Use the code JWI and you get the first month of your subscription for only a buck. All right, time for some bonus cards. First up, we have the 1994 Upper Deck Michael Jordan Nintendo Chaos in the Windy City promo card. Graded in near mint PSA 7. This card sold at auction for $143.50. It's a pop of only three in a near mint 7. There's only 21 graded higher with the high speed four gem mint 10s. From 1994 Upper Deck Special Edition, we have Shaquille O'Neal graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $107.50. And a gem mint slab, this is a low pop of only six. The special editions were in sort of one per pack. So cards number one to 90 were in series one and 91 to 180 in series two. So this Shaq here is in series two. There's also a special edition gold parallel, which were in sort of one in 35 packs. 
from 1985 JMS game. We have a perforated Larry Bird graded near mint PSA 7. This car is sold at auction for $42.55. It's a pop of only two in a PSA 7 slab. There's only 43 graded higher with the highest being seven gem mint 10s. Here's a look at how these games came. It was in a sheet. Probably hard to find these sealed like this one, but keep your eye out. Quite rare, low pop. From 1992 Upper Deck McDonald's, we have a Shaquille O'Neal rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $74. Pop of this Shaq rookie card in a gem mint slab is 947. So quite a bit higher than his regular 92 upper deck that was in the top 10. That has a pop in the 300, so three times higher. However, 74 bucks is quite cheap compared to the couple thousand that it would take you to get the other for copy. From 1993 Upper Deck Special Edition, we have the Chris Weber All-Star West Die Cut Rookie Card in raw condition. Sold at auction for $28 and one penny. There's been 85 of these graded with PSA. There are 41 near mint mint eights, 32 mint nines, and only four gem mint tens. So PSA eights sell for around 30 bucks or so. So this price here for a raw copy is around the price of a PSA eight. The all-star die cuts, they were split between an east and west region, and they were inserted into those hobby packs at a rate of one in 30 packs. From 1994 Collector's Choice, we have a Scotty Pippen Gold Signature Parallel graded Mint PSA 9. This card sold at auction for $29.59. The Gold Signature Parallels were inserted 1 per 36 packs, so they were box hit parallels. And this here is a Pop 4 in a Mint Slab, and there's only one higher graded Gem Mint 10. From 1990 McDonald's, we have a Michael Jordan, the Backup Dribble. This was part of a perforated little insert that was in sports illustrated for kids this here is graded mint psa 9 sold at auction for 89 dollars 99 cents it's a pop of only 13 in a mint slab and there's only two higher graded gem mint 10s from 1995 fleer we have a kevin garnett perforated rookie card I haven't seen this one in a while this is a mint psa 9 it was graded mint psa 9 sold at auction for 28 dollars I think that was a steal. It's a pop of only six in a mint slab, and there's none graded higher. This here was part of the promo sheet. Here's a copy of what that promo sheet looks like. Keep an eye out for those if you ever see them around. That's super low pop. Pop of only six in a mint slab, and there's no gem mint tens. I think whoever bought that for 28 bucks got a pretty good deal on that one. From 1993 Tops, we have a Shaquille O'Neal second year black gold insert graded Gem Mint CSG 10. This card sold at auction for $42. That was a good buy. It's a pop of only five in a Gem Mint CSG slab. There are no higher graded perfect 10s. Over at PSA, it's a pop of only 39. And last sales have been for around $500 for these. So this here, 42 bucks for a Gem Mint CSG, that's actually the price of a PSA 9. So I think that was a pretty good buy. The black gold cards, number 14 to 25, were inserted into series two. And they were inserted at one in 72 packs for hobby and retail and one in 18 jumbo packs. Cards one to 13 were inserted into series one. And we're gonna finish it up with something that I've never seen before. The 1993 Shooting Star German Disney Limit. It's a four card sheet. You got two Jordans on there. One with his famous jumping man photo. This is all raw condition. It was a fixed price sale for 200 bucks. Never really seen these before. Did a little bit of digging to try to see if these were gradable and couldn't find any in a PSA slab or a PSA pop report. However, I did find this one here graded by Beckett. Not much info on it though. So if you guys have seen these or know anything more about them, let us know. Let the community know in the comments below because these are pretty interesting. I would like to see that uh, Jumping Man one graded and see what the pop report is. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cars were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay partner network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets check out those links below it's a pretty helpful reference also we got a link to bcw supplies and you guys can save 
10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app. And you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.